I sold my fair share of new developments in New York City. And let me tell you, we have some of the best ones in the world. On one hand, I can count the number of cities in the world that even come close to the selection of jaw-dropping, delicious new development real estate projects like those we have in New York City. And though they look absolutely stunning, there may be cause for concern when considering buying one. Here are my top five reasons why you should think twice before jumping into a newly constructed home in New York City. So first of all, let me preface this. I love new developments. I love that it's never been lived in before. Check out my top five reasons why you should consider one at the link above or below in the description. Sometimes I find that a deal may be lopsided in favor of the developer, not the homeowner. And stick around to the end where I bestow my top tips you absolutely need to know if you want to get a great deal on a newly built home. These are my real world opinions. First, you're probably going to overpay for your home. Let's be honest, the reason a developer builds a new home and sells it is to get the highest price possible. This usually means that many times they price it as per the after move in value. Not just for the swanky new home, but also for the neighborhood. Maybe the neighborhood is up and coming, but the developer will still sell it as if the neighborhood is already at a mature stage of development. And that's the price you will pay. So you are likely to overpay, unless you get a sweet deal. I'll explain how later. So you like a newly built residence? Well, because it's never been lived in before, right? It has the latest gadgets, style, amenities, but hold up, don't get fooled by those shiny new features. A developer is a business person. Their goal is to make money. They tangle those shiny objects in front of you, but many times, these same developers cut corners when it comes to construction practices. When they hire low budget contractors and they use inferior products or inexperienced workers to build your place, your building or subdivision. It may look pretty, but there may be much more alarming things behind the walls that you or your inspector won't be able to see. Going back to my previous point, the goal of the developer is to extract the most amount of profit they can possibly get. They will use financial tactics that make you pay over and above just the purchase price and force you to pay more in clothing costs or other services you don't necessarily need. Two examples. In New York City, it's common when buying a new construction home that the developer passes additional closing costs to the buyer. This includes their attorney fees. That's right. They want you to pay their attorney fees. Hashtag mind blow. Secondly, when I bought my place, the developer forced us to sign up for a three year inferior alarm system that is so outdated. When I tried to cancel it, the sweet customer service person told me that I could pay all three years upfront to get out of it. Why does anyone even need a connected alarm system anymore anyways? There's Ring and so many more superior products out there for a lot less. Next up, when you first buy into a new development project, did you know that the developer has full control over the building for a number of years until the project is mostly sold out? This means they get to dictate all the building's operations and rules. They hire the management company, the vendors to take out the trash, the warranty providers, and so forth. These vendors may not actually be the best for the job, but they are hired because they give the developer the most value at the cheapest price. So for those initial years, there's absolutely nothing you can do but suck it up and deal with inferior service and providers and vendors like the management company I am dealing with at the place I live in full time. You have to be okay with this. Otherwise, don't move into a brand new building. And finally, and probably the most important, if you don't buy well, you could end up overpaying. 
And when it comes time to sell many years later into the future, you could actually walk away with barely breaking even or God forbid, lose money. It's true friends, I have seen it time and again. Many homeowners walk away with less than they paid even though they bought in a new development. This is mostly because they either bought an inferior unit within the project or they paid full price. And this my friends brings me to the best part. Steps you can take to make sure you are getting the best deal on new developments. These are my recommendations to get the most value on a newly constructed home. Don't be the first buyers when buying in a new development. Let it sit for a while. As a project begins to lose its brand new status, much like when buying a car, developers will be more negotiable or be willing to throw in extras. And to get the very best deal, get in on a project when they are wrapping up sales. By then the developer wants out and so they may be more flexible at that point. Also, be willing to pay a little more to get a superior unit in the building or subdivision. There is a reason that the lowest priced homes is priced that way. You don't want to be stuck with an inferior property. Finally, never pay the extra closing costs that the developer pushes on you. Particularly in New York City, the developer pushes the transfer taxes and their attorney fees. Don't pay those. No way. Negotiate that they pick it up. If all of this has your head spinning, reach out to me and my team, Time Undivided. We help buyers new to New York City find amazing places to call home. We will hold your hand from start to finish. And because we have so many years of experience in the local market, we know all the best projects and can help to secure the home of your dreams. Were there any other reasons you should stay away from new development opportunities? Share your experiences in the comments below so that others may learn. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Later.